Hello and welcome to some week 13. We have an unofficial race here. It is the Ridiculousness series, which uh, is true to the name. We've got multi-class here at New Texas. And we have chosen to drive the Gen 4 car as we head out for qualifying here. But it's not only Gen 4 cars we will see out on track. We're also going to be sharing the track with some trucks, some Craftsman trucks, and the 1987 cars. I went ahead and chose the Gen 4 because it's my favorite to drive, a lot of fun. Green, green, green. And uh, that's the point, right? For an unofficial race, just uh, here to have some fun. But still going to try to do our best, get the best we can. So that means I am trying for qualifying. And that's looking pretty good. Looks like that's going to be right on our all-time optimal. That's what I would hope for. Pax got a lot of grip compared to practice. I might be able to push that even a little bit more. Um, underdrove a little bit, three and four that time around, but that's okay. I think I got a solid lap in into the point sevens. I must look at the time with the grass, but it doesn't matter. Safety rating means nothing, of course, in these unofficial races. Although the sporting code does apply, so can't just go around wrecking people. Got to take it seriously. Right now we are P1 of the Gen 4s, but Lewandowski is in here. Uh, so, you know, he's probably going to... Give us a run for our money on time. 52 laps. I'm going to be out here for a decent bit of time. 52 laps at about 30 seconds a lap. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty decent amount of time. About a 30 minute race, probably. Obviously, uh, it's probably going to be laps taking a little bit longer. Since that's the fast lap. I feel pretty good getting into the 29s. Might be the case that uh, Lewandowski will choose to start from the back for some fun. We actually have a pretty freaking strong Gen 4 field. 4.5k strength of field in the Gen 4s, so that's pretty crazy. But you see we've got 7 Gen 4 cars. We've got 8 Craftsman trucks. And we've got nine 87 legends. We've got a, we're going to be out here long enough. Get uh, this back on as long as they're not being too annoying. <laughs> the voice chat. Um, probably going to be plenty of time to get some lap traffic. My assumption is that there's no cautions. Will that say that anywhere in here? Unlimited sets of tires. That is promoting the idea of no cautions. No scrutiny qualifying. That's interesting. Well, one does. So I don't, I'm not seeing it right there, but I'm assuming it's probably no cautions, as most of these are. And it looks like we'll go ahead and start on the pole. All right. Not sure if I'm going to be able to successfully save tires and whatnot. We'll give it our best. Gen 4 at Old Texas went pretty darn well for me when I went there in the Gen 4 car. That was a great race. We've got a good one here. Now this, of course, is New Texas, so it is a little bit different. You have to back down turns 1 and 2 a little more, unless you want to kill you right front. Three and four pretty much the same. <clears throat> Excuse me. Though a different scan, so you know the bumps might have changed over time or something. In fact, I guess they would have because they repaved it, right? So probably much different. But the big change, of course, turns one and two with uh, the whole 
banking changes or whatever all they did. The changes that a lot of people don't really enjoy. But I like it here. 52 laps of fuel? That's not enough. Why are we short on fuel? We have to pit? That's interesting. I did not expect that. Do the other cars have to pit? We haven't got that data. Of course, it, uh, it doesn't have data because it hasn't gathered that yet. But that's interesting. I did not expect to have to pit. I really, ne I usually never do these unofficial races, so that's unexpected. Something I also did not expect. Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, Lewandowski is not even. I thought he was going to be tacked onto the back of the us, but it's just he hasn't readied up yet. So, I, yeah, he will be right there. Oh, he ended up putting a time in. I didn't expect that. I thought he was uh, waiting. Pole position, 52. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Around us, like, in, at really absurdly high, like, rated drivers. We've got Stay behind the and myself with a 5.1k, but then behind us, a pair of 5.0ks. Lewandowski, 6.0k, so it's really freaking strong Gen 4 field, I'm telling you. One to go, next time by. Line up on the inside. Close, pit road is closed. But all for fun, so I'm not going to worry too much about how it goes. Definitely going to be a first gear start, I think. Too big of a launch from first gear. Just can't spin the tires. So I guess we're, we're going to plan to come in about 27. Since we have to pit, apparently. Because we're not going to make it. We're several laps short. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Sorry, my throat's a little scratchy. We'll be ready to do our first gear start. Hopefully not spin the tires. As this vehicle tries to do. I, I kind of like this. If there are indeed no cautions. And we have to do green flag pit stops. Like that's absolutely necessary then. I'm wishing that I had <laughs> practiced that now. Get ready. Going green. We have start zones. We do not. Green flag, green flag. Still waited uh, a little bit. Waited till we kind of got in the start zone first. Before going. Just seems fair. Try to keep the tires on this thing a little bit. Session last lap. Should have had that ready already. There it is. Big wreck, sounds like. I'm assuming that's what there it is means. They're fighting back there. I like to see that. Really? <laughs> really? Lap one. So it sounds like there has already been issues. I see a truck in the infield. Hopefully not going right onto the apex of the track. Nobody wants that. We've confirmed there are no cautions. Unless iRacing has completely lost their minds. I've forgotten how to do cautions. Fastest lap. Okay. Might mean we can back it down a little bit. Getting it loose on exit. Should be okay. As long as I uh, don't spin it or anything crazy.
We'll see if we get tight. Might be overdriving it. Somebody ran out of talent. Uh oh. We got another crash. Uh oh. Car parked in the bottom. I go off the my racing line in order to get around that. They're all fucking understeer, all understeer. The lap time was at thirty point three. I didn't check. I don't know if we have fast repairs. Uh oh. Slow cars are bad. Fast repair. We do have a fast repair. I'm still hanging on, buddy. I'm going. Put this a four. Let's go. That kind of sounds like Ward Burton. Can't really. I wasn't really sure what he just said. Uh, I also am not good at paying attention and listening while I'm driving. But oh my gosh, we got guys up in the wall here. Oh my goodness, we've got a troop of Dale Earnhardt's. Absolutely terrifying. Blocking the whole track. <laughs> this is so funny. We get around it just fine. Oh, we can. Okay, coming back. We'll go below this guy. Get through it just fine. That's the fun of this. <laughs> All these different cars on track. Very funny. Week 13, something yeah. special. <laughs> Just like that Zero X challenge oh, I just did, down. where uh, we had a whole bunch of different cars on track. There's another one of those new messages that we can get. I haven't seen that one yet. You're pulling away. We've got two seconds behind us all of a sudden. I don't know if they had more more trouble getting through traffic or what. Get past Dale Earnhardt number 358. Lots of Dale Earnhardt's out here. We got a Bill Elliott though. That's something a little bit different. Go to his inside. Car's feeling great. Still pulling away from the guys behind a little bit. Using an easy amount of break into turns one and two. Letting it stick to the bottom. Get out throttle. Three point six gallons. We try to save. But can we make that? Kind of unfortunate if like that's what you have to do. You just have to save fuel because I kind of want to like actually race. You know, this is supposed to be like. Oh my! Okay, don't like seeing that around the corner. I couldn't hit my bottom line, and so now I'm going really slow through the corner. It's all right. Only one lost set of turns. We're fine. One boy threw in reverse. I don't know, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll save fuel just, uh, as time goes on. That probably explains why I'm pulling away from really fast guys that are saving fuel and I'm not. So I'm definitely not going to make it. <laughs> this rate. That's kind of a bummer though, like, I would hope that we could just race hard and have fun and on an unofficial race, but I guess it's uh, a fuel mileage race? I don't know, I guess there's fun about that. A unique experience, perhaps. Got a slower class car up ahead. Almost hooked me. 
Get the grass a little bit, we're okay. Holding steady at about a 2.4 gap behind us. Still saying 3.6 on fuel. Would have us short. Plenty short. I'm gonna I'm just gonna assume everyone's gonna have to pit and we're gonna come pit at halfway. Since there are no cautions, no reason to do anything but halfway really, unless I don't know, kill the tires or something and I wanna do it a little bit earlier. How much draft can I get from these guys? I wonder if it's any significant amount. Car outside. Clear. All right. Get the angle on the corner there. That's okay. Still made it by without much issue. Car's getting tight. Maybe I was overdriving it here. We are almost to lap 26, though. So not too much longer before we'll be able to come in and get a fresh set of tires. It's close, but... I bet maybe if you started saving from the beginning, maybe you would have a chance. I don't know. Maybe uh, if you have to save that much, you'll have to go really slow and it won't pay off. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep really got to back down to one and two. Trying to make sure I hit my line. Been overdriving it just a bit. Slow, car Slow traffic coming up. Here, that bottom line, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna move up. Okay. We figured it out. We're good. We should be okay to still have the lead by the time we get to lap 26. They are gaining, but not that fast. And while the car is getting a little tight for us, it's manageable. Not horrific by any means. Car got pretty loose there. It's doing a bit of a four tire slide. Thankfully, hold on to it, keep it out of the wall. What's the guy head doing? Where's he gonna be? Down low, I guess. Make it by him. Stay on the brakes for a while. I went into the corner just a little bit high. One point eight behind us. So we're uh, just about to get to our pit in lap. Car outside. Clear high. Top turns are pretty consistent. The 
gap to pull off behind is now 1.8. I'd say maybe the second run we'd go a little bit easier, beating nicer to the tires, but is that going to be necessary? We are leading at the moment. So theoretically, if we do the same thing again, we'll be leading at the end, right? I don't know if that logic really plays out. I guess, of course, the guys behind could do a better job during the second run. But uh, if this has gotten here in first place, no reason to do anything too outside of the norm, I guess. I'll just uh, keep hitting my marks and see where it takes me. We will be pitting in this lap. I sure wish I practiced this. Got enough space behind, I think I should be able to get away with just doing it. Bit of an easy entry. Guys behind are pitting. I want all the fuel, please. Keep the balance the same. Alright, clean entry. 6678. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> Maybe I will try to be a little easier on the right front this time, but only slight adjustment. I need to do too much. Move it, move it. Can we get off pit road quickly? It's looking okay. I think we had ourselves a good pit stop. Spin it. Don't you do it now. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, gained a little bit on the guys behind, even though they came in at the same time. Love to see that. So I think we'll uh, be a little bit easier in 1 and 2 this time. Back it down just a little bit more earlier in the run. Probably take uh, 3 and 4 pretty similarly. And it should take us to a good result, I hope. You're pulling away from the car tire to get the good point. Hey, you're back in the lead. The car is key. Just left the E3 is setting the fastest lap. That's Lewandowski. He must be pushing harder right now. I'm not too interested. Pushing super hard. I don't think I need to, especially with the 2.7 second gap behind us. You know what I meant to do at the start of the race is put my brake bias all the way back, and I totally forgot. That could have helped. I guess we'll go ahead and do that now. I mean, of course, in car, the extra 3%. I did remember to put it back in the garage, at least. But I do want as much rotation with the brakes as I can get. So we'll go ahead and do that. You've just done a 30 .3. So theoretically when I'm dragging the brake right there, it's helping get some rotation a little bit more. All right, we've got some trucks up ahead. That's interesting. I don't think we've had to uh, pass any trucks that weren't wrecked yet. <laughs> I think every truck we've passed has been part of an accident. These guys might have been, as far as I know, but they look like they're driving just fine right now, so we're just going to have to find our way around. I can definitely shake things up for us. Alpine's catching. 
We got room to spare. Hopefully that doesn't continue all too much. We're gonna have to get around these lap trucks and cars cleanly though. It's gonna be necessary. I like the fact that those two behind me are right on top of each other as well. Potentially side by side. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Jesus, oh schmushy. Schmushy! Oh galoosh. Okay, we're good. I don't know, I was speaking foreign tongue there, I don't know what I was saying, but... <laughs> uh, it's a little nervous, but we're good. <laughs> that was dangerous, but I don't want to lose any time here. Also, I'm a little more bold whenever it doesn't actually count for anything. The three, interestingly enough, must have had some pit trouble or something, or maybe they're going all the way. No, they can't be because they're not in the lead. They might have gotten a pit penalty or something. Hopefully he doesn't have any friends back there that need some help blocking me or something. Let's see uh, how easy it is to get around him. Oh Jesus, he just ran into that guy. Well, don't have to worry about him blocking me now. get around this truck who's gonna hang on my outside for some reason shouldn't last long if he's gonna do that there we go the trucks hang with you I guess on the uh, in the turns probably because of their huge amount of downforce compared to this I guess it's probably not huge necessarily but I imagine they probably do have a piece bit of more downforce helping them stick through the corner traffic approaching. That's not true at all. <sighs> we are the fast traffic. I don't think there's a faster class here. No, definitely not. So our lead has fallen to 1.6. But I am going a little softer this run, so I'm hoping that they are getting closer in part because their tires are wearing a little more. I think because they can enter the corners faster than I can. Considers them faster traffic for a moment and I get that message. The car feels tighter already than it did at this point in the last run. I'm not sure why. Not sure why that would be. So I feel like I'm going easier this time, and yet tires feel like uh, the right front's worse off. Kind of strange. Hopefully we'll be able to hold on to it, though. Still a second and a half behind us to spare. Gotta remember to keep it low in one and two. I think that's a big part of getting good times here. Maybe I'm not doing that more or enough.
Got an 87 coming up. Usually pretty big speed difference between us and them, so we gotta really be careful when we reach here. Get it done. Lewandowski, now the guy behind us. Get some draft from this truck. Got some class leaders, it looks like, so. Gotta be respectful of them, too. They are respectful of me, very much appreciated. Sometimes you worry when you get into these unofficial races, guys are gonna be just super dumb on purpose, because it doesn't count for anything. But, uh, everyone being very reasonable, being very good, lap traffic, and that's appreciated. So you do still want to have yourself a good, clean race, even if it's unofficial. We're doing a pretty good job. Very cool to see. We're actually gaining again on the guys behind, I think. And that's despite getting around traffic. Of course, I'm sure they're dealing with traffic on their own as well back there. For what's that? For what's, uh, for what that is worth, is what I'm trying to say. So I think they may have uh, pushed a little bit harder, trying to keep up with me early in this final run. And I think I'm actually probably in a, in a better spot than they are at this point. Either they're fighting each other and slowing each other down. Could also be happening. So they are still pretty close to one another. See, that's what I want to do more of. Keep it low out of two. I think that helps your exit. 15 apparently going low? Maybe not. Okay, I don't know why he was driving down the middle. Backstretch, that to me indicates either I'm going to pit or I'm going to stay low. Got moved up high, which is good. Would have preferred that. We figured out his intentions. Got by him just fine. Tries pushing a decent bit mid corner. Really having to keep the brakes held just a little bit longer, be more patient on the throttle. But we're still pulling away from the guys behind. So they must be in uh, worse shape than we are. We've got four to go. I don't know if I've ever won an unofficial race. Not counting, like, league races, but, like, actual iRacing unofficial races. I'm sure I have at some point. But I don't do very many of them. So maybe not. I feel like I did, like, a road course race in the 87 once. Maybe. I feel like I did. I feel like it was at Watkins Glen or something, and I won that. But probably only because there was, like, almost nobody racing it. <laughs> I feel like I have a memory similar to that. But regardless, cool to get uh, a good run in a field full of strong drivers. I mean, this is a 4.5k strength of field for the Gen 4 cars, according to Race Labs. Pretty sure that's just not including uh, the other classes. Just the Gen 4. So, uh, if we can you know, finish this off those last two laps, I feel pretty good about this. I wish it counted for I rating. <laughs> I, I can say that now that the race has been clean. I'd be saying, oh, I'm glad this doesn't count for I rating if I had been wrecked out by a, an 87 on lap two or something. <laughs> But Texas, always good to me. Love this place. No matter what year it is. <laughs> and so long as we can 
hold on to it in three and four. I'm gonna win with about two seconds to spare over guys like Lewandowski. Makes me feel pretty good. Uh oh. What's happening? Okay. Just waiting for there to be a pile of cars sitting in front of the start finish line. We're good. Yeah. All right. Is there any power fail? Power fail, dude. Thanks. Yeah, man. Like I, I wish I would have filled up on the pit stop there because uh, the tech room was too tired. But uh, I thought I might have had a shot there at the end, but I got caught up with the trail. But it's good, it's good right now. Yeah, that was fun. I don't normally do these uh, unofficial races, but that was a good time. Good race, guys. Yeah, good job, guys. I gave myself like a 50 50 shot at like speeding or not, you know, on the road. 66 77. I did the one before the, before the, the first one doing this shit, and uh, I was a little bit easy getting on pit road. The guy behind me slammed into me getting on pit road. I was oh. a little bit more aggressive that time. I was up, but it was fun. Oh, no. That doesn't sound great. Yeah, like, I didn't know like a pit stop or anything, like, oh, crap. Well, we're just gonna get this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're like you're like five laps short, and the fall off is so huge. It's best to take four tires. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't mess up green flag pit stuff because I didn't even know we were gonna have to pick come in. Close F calls early in this race. To hear your results. Yeah, yeah, I saw the uh red that eighty seven car right in front of me. I had to go all the way down. I was in the top all and avoided. Yeah, last seven like. Off of the four is just, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Alright, All right, lap one, we've got some trucks. Neon green death machines. Ooh, and we just got some quarter panels touching. Kind of just... I think the 9 really didn't expect to get up on him like that. And uh, he kind of just drove into him. I think you got to give more space. Even if you didn't quite mean to get there. I just got to give a little more space. And uh, he just turns him around. Oh, man. And the 6 not able to avoid him. What did the 6 see? Sees him spinning to the inside. Looked like he aimed for him. I think maybe he was expecting to slide higher up the track and uh, thinking he can make it down there, but he kind of just drove right into him. Which, that's alright. <laughs> Been there before. Just choosing incorrectly, anticipating the wrong thing when a car is spinning or truck. But again, hey, at least it doesn't uh, count against your safety rating. 18, also glad. He looks like he's dodging... Uh, some wreck here, and uh, grass. Caught him. Got him unsettled. So moving along, we're on lap two. 17's gonna tap the wall. Not too much going on there. I'm gonna just skip ahead. It looks like he just way overdrove turns one and two. Thinking he's at old at Texas. Four wide moment for the 87s. Whoa, that's cinematic. Do they survive it too? Ah, uh, they almost survive it, but nah, the, uh, it looks like the 16 turns down. Probably thinking he might still be four wide, so he's just turning down, trying to give as much space as he can, but he comes down too far. Just clips the 57, and essentially takes out all his competition. Well, and then the 17 comes along, but... Ooh, that's a rough one, too. That's a big wreck. You know, I think the uh, truck actually has the new damage model on it. I didn't pay attention earlier. But uh, next time we see a truck get into some trouble, we'll see if uh, we got parts flying off of it. Because I believe that's a new addition to the season update. I guess that's what I'm supposed to be doing as a YouTuber, right? Like highlighting the new stuff instead of just doing unofficial races and being boring. <laughs> Remember to subscribe if you want more boring content. Air horn noises, etc. Anyway, 17's still overdriving it. These, uh, those things are such plow boxes. They do not want to turn. He's going to hit the wall in the quad oval, too. Really hard at that. 
He's maybe getting a little overwhelmed. He's a 700 I rating guy. He's just really struggling to get around the place. But unofficial, just for fun. And then here, with three just running into the back of the 18. I think the 18 left the bottom open for him. Yeah, he, he had plenty of room. That's on the three there, definitely. I mean, obviously, you're going to be in dangerous situations, so that's why this is ridiculousness, as you, you've got three different cars of different speeds on here. But, uh, had room to go down low. Would have been just fine, but instead he chose the same line as the 18, ran into him. Just a dangerous situation caused by nonsensical multi-class racing. Oh, the 18's on his lid, too. Look at that, they uh, bothered to paint the bottom of the car red, too. Whoa! <laughs> Look out in the crowd, we got hoods going into the infield. We got carnage. Someone wreck a truck so I can take a look at that. Oh, thank you. Why are we petting on lap 8? Oh, he got a wall. Did he break a tire? That's new. I think he broke the handling on this thing. That's new. That looks a little weird. Looks like the hood's made of gelatin, but... Yeah, we got some new damage model on this thing. That's very interesting. Yeah, you can see it's, you know, broken. Kind of leaning to the right front. Very interesting. Thank you for showing me that. At request. Oh, that sucks. 13 bounces off the quad oval. And then, uh, who was that here that uh, got into it? The four. Yeah. Just wrong place, wrong time as the 13's playing pinball. Yep. Unfortunately for the four, he had a good run going, top five, and just got clipped. Sometimes entropy just takes a hold. And doing donuts in the corner. That's cool. 17, still finding some wall. This might finish him off, though. That's a heavy hit. Thankfully, everybody's able to get by, just barely. Some wall hit there. Got a fast car coming. It's me. Well, just getting into the wall. Tried a new paint here. I think I didn't saturate the purple enough, though, because it doesn't really look purple. But I think I'm going to make that a more of a, you know, increase the saturation on that purple a little bit. This will be my new uh, paint scheme going forward. Can't really see what's going on with it, but obviously I'm still adjusting it. Wanted to uh, get something unique and new for the upcoming Diet Dr. Pepper series. It's going to have a hint of green in there. Going to have some purple for the good old grape look. Just obviously, iRacing paint shop. It's, I don't have an artistic bone in my body, so can't really do anything too crazy on my own. But hey, at least it'll be unique to me. I skewed the camera a little bit. My bad. Okay. Should be a little bit better. 13 gets the wall. And uh, we're going to continue forward a little bit faster now because we're just getting a lot of wall hits here. Three is just goofing around, I think. He's just going to drive it really hard up into the wall. That was obviously intentional. A 5K iron guy knows you don't flat foot it through one and two at New Texas. Six truck in the wall. Eleven truck giving us another view of the new damage model. Dented right rear. It's got a little bit of a crunched up front end. Nothing too spectacular there, showing anything off, but still, another look. Moving along, as the 13 finds the wall some more. The 3, still not taking it too seriously, I don't think. Yeah, he's just flat-footing it, looping it around. Spin it onto pit road. He's just having himself a laugh. That's what week 13 is all about. Lowering the stress a little bit. Number one, going to run into the back of the guy ahead. I think the guy ahead was a lap down. 
They're both overdriving it, though. They're way up the track. Yeah, that was weird. Looked like they were trying to run into each other. And that's when the 3 just runs into the back of the 15. I don't know if he was, like, looking in his rear view at me or something. But it's like, it's almost the exact same thing he did before. Like, just, you gotta enter low. You can't just enter. It's like you can't even see the other guys. Of course, he's, again, probably not even taking it too seriously. But you do have to, like, not just run into people on purpose. Because while you can... Have fun and goof around. Like, don't ruin someone else's race for it. You know, sporting code still applies, blah, blah, blah. I'm not the freaking iRacing policeman or something, but just saying for people that may not know, you still can't just go around driving backwards or something. <laughs> you still gotta apply the sporting code and whatever for uh, these unofficial races. And uh, it's just generally not very cool to wreck people on purpose. But that looks like uh, the end of the race. You have your truck winner in the 91, your 87 winner, Jacob, in the number 8, and myself getting the win in overall and in the Gen 4. So that went pretty well. Didn't have too much racing along with my class, but we had some interesting lap truck, lap car situations. Some multi-class NASCAR racing. Where else can you find that but week 13? So, thank you for watching. Um, just a little bit of something different. Something fun. And uh, I'll see you next time, or whatever may come next. Have a good one.